was no surprise that Musibao Ashifa emerged as the council chairman of a Tuawari local council development area for his second term after his outstanding achievements during his first time in office. To mark 100 days in office in the second tenure, Ashifa alongside his team embarked on a two-day free health mission for residents of Otawari LCDA. The healthcare services available include high tests, dental care, diabetes and hypertension screening, the warming for infants, and health sensitization. Drugs were administered to those in need, and high glasses were distributed to appropriate persons. Speaking on the mission, the council chairman said the scheme aims at easing financial burden of residents who cannot afford a standard medical checkup, stressing the importance of being healthy. He heard hard on sun-dry to maximize the opportunity. This health initiative is a comprehensive one. We have noted with a great sense senses that the reason for filing health is because people do not have an opportunity like this want to take care of themselves because of the financial reasons. This is why we have decided to provide the necessary assistance free of charge. The medical officer, John Bosco, 1KG, admonished residents to inculcate the habit of checking their health status regularly as he commended the initiatives. We are going to be giving warm tablets, the warming of children on their pipes. We are going to be screening for common childhood illnesses. That means we are going to focus on under pipes. We are going to be screening for hypertension and diabetes. That will be focusing on our elderly, those that are prone to such challenges. That does not exclude other complaints that the patients may make, which will also take note of. We are going to be screening for um, nutritional deficiencies. We are also going to give health education on everything related to health. Beneficiaries appreciated the opportunity. Health is wet. There is nothing you can have without health. We are performing rubbish. We are doing nothing. But somebody that care for health, you know that it's somebody that needs you and somebody that you need. So he's a good chairman. I rate him higher. Out of the chairman in Lagos State today. I don't know tomorrow, but today I rate him higher. The advice I have to give to all the people of Otawori is to uh, be patient at all time and uh, be in peace with themselves. So, and not to cause any violence. The Otawari residents are enjoying the dividends of democracy under the Musiba washofa led administration. To ensure all inclusive governance and sustained development, stakeholders were invited to a meeting by the leadership of Otawari Local Council Development Area to deliberate on the content of the 2022 budget proposal. Council executives, management team, legislatures, traditional rulers, and community stakeholders were in attendance. Addressing the audience, Ashafar urged stakeholders to present their contributions, which will be instrumental in ensuring sustained development in the next 12 months. It is our purpose for the whole year. If we are able to transformer and it's not their budget, we cannot be able to do it for them. If the others need anything from their powers and it's not their budget, we cannot do it. That's why the communities have surrounded us. That is what we are calling this meeting that all of you come, let us discuss what we need in our area. That's why we call the CDC, the artisans, the party people that is here, and the community. So that anytime they need something from us, 
will not go to our project. We have to our project and we do. Stakeholders and world representatives addressed the issues that require government intervention in their communities. Councillors representing the words assured to the stakeholders that their inputs have been noted, urging them to play the civic roles through prompt payments of taxes and levies and cooperation with the council authority. My message for all the residents of Ottawa yesterday, precisely my word, is just that uh, I can see the government in place is trying to listen to them so as to give them what they want. So as a, as a resident, as a community people as well, they should be able to give back. You know, when you have been able to give to people, people should be able to give back. And I, as a councillor, we, we have been able to liaise with our council chairman to robust with him that this is what we want. And he said he's going to do it all. So we see that something good is coming. My advice to our people is, when you are making an input, to the budget, you should as well make an input for that thing to be actualized. And what does that mean? By paying their dues to the cover of the council, so that the council will now have money at least to meet their yearning. With this consultative firm, the first step of the 2022 budget proposal is complete.